I've got a little something to let you in on here at the house. Um, I couldn't actually install my solar panels how I wanted uh, at the time I wanted to install them because I wanted to get uh, some panels up, new panels up before the new year and I did manage to get two panels up. We'll show you them now. Uh, not much to see really, uh, just uh, the fact that they are longer and wider and I got two out of four panels mounted. My old panels are down, I've got one, two, three, 80 watt panels, uh, 4.5 amp uh, is the output. Um, I can't really say I've saw a good amount of power out of these, uh, just the angles that I put them in a little bit of shading brings them down a little bit, but I've uh, upgraded to these 1.6 meters by one meter. They are huge. I managed to get two up with the aid of a um, actuator to lower the panels um, into place. Uh, slide them on a couple of volts. Uh, I've recently bought the hardware to put the other two up, but uh, not currently in the mood to do it. So let's have a look at the front of these panels. Here are two of the panels that I haven't installed. Uh, you'll notice that we have a section up here and a section down here. Um, these are ideal for shading uh, because the bottom half is separate from the top half and you have uh, technically two solar panels in one. So this, the fact that this bottom half is shaded doesn't actually matter. The output from these is going to be tiny. It's probably got some sort of blocking diodes in them to make sure that they um, bypass this set of cells. Uh, and uh, if we have a look on the back, okay, it's going to help me here. I have actually connected these up temporary to get some more output and it's always on the other side, isn't it? It is. Not my cat likes solar panels. We'll go in the shade and you'll see that these are 300 watt rated panels, 32 volts MPPT, uh, 9 amps out, 39 volts open circuit, da, 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 982 short circuit and basically um, got four of these at 150 pounds each which works out to be about 50p a watt now we've got these uh, connected up temporary what I've done is I've run two bits of flex because unfortunately due to uh, another break in and someone pinching all of my um, high well high quality scrap my large cross-sectional area cables that I was going to use for my solo installs basically um, <laughs> you're going to sit right there you're going to sit right there, aren't you? You're probably reducing my uh, my solar income, aren't you? Uh, yeah, so th these are in circuit as a pair. Uh, these are in circuit. And obviously the two panels on the roof. We're going to have to get you down there so we can... So we can... Like, see what we're pulling in, right? Come on, there's biscuits down here. Dead. battery warning lights come off my camera so I'm going to have to speed this up we're actually pulling out 15 amps I haven't set this up right so that when it charges the battery meter goes up um, we are actually pulling 425 watts I'm running a kettle believe it or not only a, I'll explain very shortly but um, you'll see that we got 609 watts this is last time I refreshed it I've actually had it up to 660 odd watts can't see. We're at 633 watts coming in. Refresh it again. 626. And it's quite amazing. Uh, I've never seen that amount of power coming in on my system before ever. And it's, you know, it's quite thrilling. Uh, I just want to go and switch some more things on. Batteries are almost charged. Um, 31 volts, uh, 19 volts of solar, almost 20, volt, uh, 20 amps of solar, sorry. We've had 11 kilowatts solar since the beginning of the month. Batteries at 28 volts, uh, 22 amps going into batteries. Obviously, I've only set it up to 24 volts, so two panels in, uh, two, two 12 volt panels in series, or one of them, uh, one of the big 300 watt panels uh, in series. So they're all parallel. So I'm, I'm going to go and check on the kettle. Sounds like we're about to boil. So this little one kilowatt camping kettle is boiling slowly. I've got the most, the cheapest 
most Chinese uh, 2.5 kilowatt inverter I could find uh, for £30. So you've got USB outputs on it, it's actually a 110 volt inverter so this one kilowatt kettle at 110 volts is pulling 250 watts. Uh, so I have a, another, uh, oh we clicked off, we have another inverter on the way, a apparently 5 kilowatt. Um, pure and uh, not pure sine wave, uh, digital sine wave inverter, you know, cheap, cheap square wave uh, on the way. That was £30 as well. I'm just going to be using it for resistive loads like a bigger kettle uh, until I actually decide what sort of inverter I want to put in place. So, yeah, Sunday uh, with the solar going, with the sun out, it seems to be working. So, uh, now we need to get the dump load um, installed uh, so we can push some of that excess solar that we are probably going to be getting very soon once we get those panels up on the shed into something useful like water. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, comment, rate and I will see you in my next video. Cheers!